Build Divide Gold White Episode 11. You know when, when the big bad and the main pro tag uh, would uh, would uh, what's it called this would bump heads? Yup, a battle ensues. This one is no different. All right. So nakahamunan talaga sila higumat uh, teroto. Well, Teroto's comeback in this anime uh, was uh, was really big. So he um, he called Bloom. But while he was calling that uh, from a mantric eye like that came came from his hood. Then uh, half of his hood was already lighted in red. Half of his body actually, right? It was, it was really cool. Higuma uh, at this point has already merged with the king uh, with only one goal, uh, as we would find out later in the episode. He wants to become Will. Hmm. Is that, does that have a physical form? But anyway, so battle ensues. First few turns, uh, lamang si Tero to sa laban. Then of course, uh, uh, of course, Higuma in his uh, uh, in in typical big bad fashion, he uh, he trash talks Tero to about uh, about his backstory, about uh, Will, or uh, all all of that, or all of that whimsical bullshit big bads usually do. In probably his uh, his latest turn, he swings the chairs around Teroto, gaining him the advantage. Now, final scene. Ayun na nga. Sinabi na ni Higumana, you got no chance of beating me, Teroto, proverbially. And, uh, camera pants to Teroto. Yup, he looks like he's in a bind. So, Bigo, mga lifestyle. We're gonna break this episode down now, critic sub style. Pace! The pacing was really um was really tense because it was it is a battle scene. Then all of a sudden, and no, not all of a sudden, but as Higuma's backstory was rolling during the battle scene, parang unti unting nagwain yung pacing ng episode. Nang hindi kinakailangan. I thought, why did they put this? Why did they put a backstory this long in, uh, in, in, uh, inside a battle scene? Yep, folks, I do have a complaint with the pacing of this episode. Flo Naman. Well, first gear shift here was, of course, when Teroto flat out challenged Higuma to a battle. No brain of a gear shift there, folks. Because, well, what a way for the actual main protagonist anime to come back. Challenge the big bag, the, the big wind bag, all right, to a battle to end all battles. I couldn't, I couldn't see it any other way. Final gear shift. Yup, dalawa lang. Was that turn, that particular turn where Higuma gained the advantage. For me, it's a no-brainer of a gear shift. For, for every card gaming aficionado out there, it's a no-brainer of a gear shift. Bakit? Because, well, whether we like it or not as card gamers, anything and everything can happen in just one turn. I've seen it a few times already uh, in in official tournaments, all right? This thing happening, I've seen it one too many times already. So, these two gear shifts that I saw, guys, definitely will play a role in the finale. Plot-wise. It's an ironed out plot, Bigo, Maha Lifestyle. But I could not say it's a well ironed out one. Bakit? Mainly because of that backstory sequence from Higuma. Hindi nila dapat pinahaba ng ganun yun eh. Ang ganda saan eh! Final boss battle tapos mayroong ganun kahabang backstory sequence. Hello! Come on guys! Violent Films, you should know better. Right? In my opinion. 
All I can say about the plot is this. It's a moderately ironed out plot. Alright? At ang talagang nagpa-moderate dito ay itong ganitong, itong, itong mahabang backstory sequence na to. In the middle of a battle scene. My God. So, pace, flow, and plot. Oh. They almost did not come together for this episode. The only thing that that uh, that kept this episode together were the gear shifts. So, build divide cold white episode eleven. Okay, lang. Bakit? Well. You, you can't discount the fact that this is a final boss battle. Although, hindi na ilabas ang tunay na potential ng episode na to because of that backstory sequence, the battle scene was still cool to watch. Okay? Final boss battle nga eh, between the big bad and the main, and the actual main protag of the anime. And wow, eh, and you also can Denied that he came back in a big way by by challenging uh, by challenging by challenging uh, the boss villain himself. You can't discount that fact. Cha, talagang ano laki ng talagang matindi yung matindi yung comeback niya rito si Tero to. After not physically battling for three years, he comes out like this. Please. Literally, with guns are blazing. Yun nga lang, uh, nagkaroon, uh, naungusan siya ni Higuma in just one turn, coming into the final scene. Boss villains do that. Alright? That's normal. Pero yung backstory sequence talaga ang, talaga may, may reklamo ako eh. They, they could have shortened that one eh. Para lalong exciting yung battle scene between Higuma and Teroto. Mas lalo naging, mas lalo maging exciting yun. Kung pinay, kung maikling backstory sequence lang yung nilagay dun. Kung maga, well, yan ano kung i-express yung battle sequence. Yan uh, ano you know, kung i-express nyo yung backstory sequence. It's okay. People won't notice. Fans won't notice. Um, viewers won't notice. Kaya, yun lang ang rating ko, guys. I would have given it a lower rating kung uh, if the battle scene was, the battle scene itself, itself overall was lackluster, yeah, expect a lower rating from me. Pero, the, the two gear shifts and the fact that, um, that the main, that the real main protagonist of this anime came out in a big way, talagang, Return of the Ambak eh. Oh, hallelujah moment. Pwede. Uh, if it weren't for those three, uh, those three moments, wala. Baka na, baka na one thumb down ko pa to. So again, uh, Build the Fight Code White, episode 11. Ay, ba't ganun? Yan lang. Alright. Pero, don't discount the fact that that it's still a good setup for the finale. Kasi nalagi sa alang ani si Tero to dito. So Bigo, wait for my next upload regarding this anime. This anime. Pwede, nabubulo lang ako. <laughs> and for those of you who are still stuck with the CHD, come on guys! Tero to is back! Uh, and you're still slacking off? Nakakabog kayo ng dibdib ah. Eh, ano mag magagawa ko? Then to um, Take out my popcorn again and watch you chill over there. Enjoy this review and I'll see you in the next one.